Hey guys, so as you saw from the photos that I inserted at the beginning of the video, this is a purse that I made for a swap that I'm doing with Esme. Um, Esme and I agreed to do a swap, and this is my project that I made for her. Uh, now, what we actually agreed to swap is a lace book. So, because I know that Esme loves purses, uh, I decided to do my lace book in the shape of a purse. So, you can see that um, it has its own strap, which I have made from silk um, ribbon that I have. It's like a vintage um, fabric, um, silk fabric that I had in my stash. Um, and I find that I found that at an antique mall local to me. And then I um, actually made it out of two strips of the silk, glued them together, and... Um, put some of this trim on here. And this trim is actually in the jewelry section at Hobby Lobby. It's from the Timeline collection. And it's really a strip of about, let me see if I can find the end, from here to here where my thumbs are. And so I've used multiple ones to put along the outside of the strap to show off these beautiful blings and pearls and beads in here. And then on the other side of the strap, I just put some lace down from Esme and Esme actually um, has her shop and I you know some of the laces that I've used in the project are from her shop I did tea dye everything um, that I used um, some of the stuff that isn't tea dyed you can tell the difference in the color um, basically because either the fabric itself doesn't take the color very well or it comes in at a different color because of what it's made from or I didn't tea dye it at all because you need some contrast. You don't want everything looking the same um, and looking flat. So um, some of it is tea dyed. Most of the, actually, I think all of the doilies are tea dyed, I believe. They just may have different shades of the coloring in it. Um, and so let me show you, this is the cover. This is the cover of the book or the outside of the purse. I designed this piece here to make it look like it was the flap that opens up the purse. And I used this really beautiful statement bling piece, which has these two dangles. Actually, it's got three hanging from it. And this brooch, it's a brooch, um, comes from Hobby Lobby as well. And I had this in my stash. But you can see how I've layered the doilies here. Um, and you're going to see that um, what I've used here is kind of, it's a themed book. And you're going to see that on the inside when I show it to you. But you can see here there's some laces and some dangling lace here. And, you know, most of the trim, as I said, it came from Esme's store. And uh, most of the doilies I've either collected um, from thrift stores or from um, antique malls. Um, the side looks like this. I'll just kind of show you the side. And then I, I basically, with the silk, I tied it. Um, after gluing it down underneath this doily here and you can see it running through here I wanted you to kind of see that um, I tied it after um, going around you know getting the right length that I wanted um, and just tied it to the other end for a look here and I will probably be making something to, to hang from that side I'm not sure yet um, see what I come up with and then here's the back of the book um, which is pretty simple because um, I wanted you to just kind of see these doilies um, layered up and not have anything, you know, too too fussy. I think that's just more my style when it comes to making these types of things. Um, so the, as I said, um, one of the most important things, and people, I don't, I don't know if people are wondering. I don't use hot glue for these books because you want it to be flexible. You want it to be nice and soft. Um, because it's all material um, and for those of you who are wondering I did do a tutorial that I'll either make a separate video for because it's pretty long of how I do the bases of my books they are sewn um, they're not glued but the base of the book um, I sewed with my sewing machine it didn't take me that long to do it a little bit longer than a regular book because this one is kind of um, you know purse shaped um, but as I was saying, I don't use hot glue on my um, books just because I don't like it. Um, 
for these. I use, I actually don't use hot glue all that often. Um, I use this, which is the Helmar 450 Quick Dry. Um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby or online. Um, Joann's and Michael's do not carry this glue. Um, it's pretty expensive, but it holds really well and it holds metal and it holds fabric. Um, you can use it on paper, but there's no point in using it on paper because there's other glue for that. Um, I use this over fabric tack because it doesn't smell like fabric tack does. So I like it better. Um, yes, it's a smaller bottle, but it doesn't stink. And the only thing I really don't like about it this sometimes is this tip. Um, this is a newer style tip that they use now, um, but it's not as great as um, some of the other glue tips that I have. But, you know, I deal with it. Um, and, you know, this glue is, is really strong glue. It's a very good quality glue. It's actually made in Australia, um, I believe. So, anyway, on to the book. So, as I said... Um, this is going to be a theme book. It's actually a Christmas theme book because not only does Esme like purses, she loves Christmas. So um, my book for her is a Christmas theme one. And I'm actually going to have to zoom out. So I'm going to stop the video right now. I'm going to zoom out or, you know, get a better view so I can show you what I did on the inside. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I realized that I'm just a short person and I'm probably not going to get it all in the shot. So... What I'm also going to do is take individual pictures of the pages inside the book and I'll tack those on to the end of the video so that you can see them all together, um, you know, the, the wider angle of the picture. So um, anyway, um, as I said, this is a Christmas theme book. So what I have done is um, used um, some vintage postcards that I found at an antique mall. And I've copied them onto this printable canvas. Um, this is the canvas, same canvas I used for my last lace book. It's a off-white color. It's not a white color. Um, so you can see that I took the postcard, printed it out, and I did um, put a matting around it. And it says, to wish you a Merry Christmas. And then I made this page look like it was just snowflakes surrounding the... Um, the image of the postcard. So up here, this is all one page basically of different doilies and the doilies are dyed again. And then I put blings on the centers of them with these little, um, these are like the connectors for doilies, um, you know, stacked up in here. And so I hope, you know, I hope that the, um, book kind of resonates with the, the whole Christmas theme. Um, you can see that I, here's another doily that I've used as a layer. I didn't cover the whole thing because I like this little um, detail that's in this fabric doily here. Um, and uh, you can see around the edging I put some more snowflakes um, just to, to kind of complete the scene. So that's the first page of my book. The second page is actually... <laughs> Um, supposed to look like um, kind of a, a woman um, with her all of her get up here um, so I made like this um, lace neckline area where you would go like you know say on a blouse or something like that and she's kind of delivering a postcard so she's all dressed up here's her glove and this is a little child's glove that I've tea dyed and stuffed with a, another doily here. So this makes it look like a sleeve. And then I put a little piece of bling on the, the, the glove as well. And it's holding the, um, the postcard here that says, wish uh, with Christmas greetings. And it's got even the person's signature on it. Um, and it's got these blue ribbons. I just thought it went really well with this insertion lace here that I found at a antique mall. And then I put a little brooch um, that I made out of two different bling pieces. Um, here's a hanky. And actually this handkerchief is what's stuffed inside of this glove over here. And I just thought it would be a nice layer underneath the postcard. And then I even added a necklace for, for her. So this kind of matches her little outfit here with a whole bunch of dangles and sparkles. Um, just as, you know, some added interest for the piece. So this is the second page 
of my lace book and I'll just show you the top area. I've kind of just decked it out with um, more, um, what do you call it, uh, trim here that I tea dyed. And you can notice this is actually the base of the book right here. I didn't fill it in with something because I wanted it to kind of stand out as a flat piece um, so that you would see that this is just a background. Um, I wanted more of this to come out. And um, this was the neatest thing because this is actually a collar piece under here. Um, this lace right here is the collar and the button for the collar is right here. It's a little glass button that was already sewn onto it. So that's the reason, that's how I came up with this whole piece is just to lay it down as like a collar and then layer it up with some other stuff on top to make it look like um, a blouse or, you know, kind of a woman's um, apparel. So that's the second piece um, in my lace book or second page. The third page is a little bit of a departure. It is a Christmas tree uh, made from lace. And hopefully I can shake everything so it, it lays fat, flat here. This is the center of the book actually. So what I've done is start at the top. I've taken all of these little, these doilies and folded them so they were into quarters. Like this one here, there's a doily here, this one right here. This one is a different shape, it's got petals. Um, and then I've, um, you know, layered those down and then in between each of the doilies, I put lace and different types of applique. And here's some applique here to make the layers of the tree. So here's some um, lace. This is actually from Esme's store um, down here. Let me go ahead and move that so you can see it. This one is actually from Esme's store and it's, it's actually tea dyed too, but it doesn't take the stain like the others do. Um, this applique piece is from Esme store. Um, this little branch looking dangle lace is also from her store. But in between you can see the layers of the doilies that I have um, just folded up and put on here. And here's the even larger doily that makes it look like the bottom of the tree. These little ribbon roses um, were also perfect for the color of the book. You notice that I like this vintage pink color. Um, that's kind of um, really a nice touch for this um, because the tea dye makes it look really vintage. And I also added some peach bling from my stash you can see here. This peach, this peach bling comes from, from Hobby Lobby as well. I think it's peach or like a vintage pink. It looks kind of both because of the colors I've used on the page. And I wish I could show this to you all together but I'll have pictures at the end. And at the top of the tree, I put this really um, nice, I think this is an artichoke. cake. Um, it just looked to me like a star and it's so dimensional. It's got a lot of pearls and little um, blings in it that I just thought it would be nice as a tree topper. No postcard on this page, but definitely a Christmassy theme. So that is the middle of my book and it's also the third page. The next page is more um, postcards, but this one I decided that, you know, a lot of people for Christmas, I just thought of things that people do at Christmas time. And one of the things that I like to do is to hang the cards that I receive in the mail. So with the postcard theme, I chose to hang them on garland. And this is some beautiful blue blingy lace applique that I got from Esme. Um, her store um, and she um, had this in the blue so I had to use it and I just backed it with some tool um, fringed uh, um, trim and um, put a little clothespin here that's holding it's not really holding the postcard but um, it's acting like it is like if you were to hang it on a garland and then I put a resin dove here and then this is a really pretty um, pearl ornament that I got from Hobby Lobby. I put it on one of these crocheted flowers. And this flower is from, I believe I got this from Vicky. She, she crocheted it out of this really soft yarn. And so I used it as a center, as a um, kind of like a doily. And then put this um, blue bling piece that I had in my stash. I have a bunch of these in different shapes. Um, but they're blue. They're like a cloudy blue and they match perfectly with the page. Um, 
because the bow here is actually attached to the ornament and I thought it needed a center. Um, so it's got all these little pearls dangling down. The back of this piece is a, a big crocheted um, piece. I think it was like a dresser cover and it looked like it had snowflakes as the pattern. So that's the reason why I used it. Um, the bottom half of the page is similar but it has a different postcard on here. And this actually is the back of the postcard. Um, I need to glue this a little bit better. But it's the back of this, back of a different postcard, and it's actually in French. So you can see the address of the person um, on here. I don't know how old this postcard is, but I do have the original. So um, it's got another um, dangle here with a blue crochet um, doily. And I think that... Um, I can't remember where I got that from. Somebody had sent that to me in a rack. I'm sorry if I can't remember, but um, I did use it here. You don't usually get colored doilies, so it's nice to get them. Um, and then another bling piece here and one here with um, right on top of where the clothespin is. So that is this fourth page of the book. And then the last page is really more of um, like you would see in a typical purse. Again, I, I laid down this very large doily piece um, cause it again looked like snowflakes to me. Um, and I didn't want to make this one, you know, anything special. I just really more wanted to, to make it the back of the purse. So when you're looking at a purse, usually it has a pocket, right? So the pocket I created from a couple of different pieces and I've inserted some, um, canvas. These are white canvas, um, images. So I printed these um, vintage postcards. Again, I purchased these at a local, not local, but I purchased these at a antique mall um, where I grew up. And uh, I think I'd shown these in a haul video um, of these ladies. Um, and hopefully, Esme, you can use these for another book or project that you'd like to make. But these are on white campus. So you can see the color is slightly different when you look at them because it's brighter than the original picture. And um, this is the largest image. And you can see that these were stamped postcards. Um, I do, again, have the original ones um, in my stash. And now I have them digitally to print images from if I, I would like to use my own in the future for a project. Um, and I just put them in the pocket back here. This pocket is made from like a pineapple doily. It's not a regular round doily. So... I thought it would make a nice pocket and then I layered some other doilies on top of it to um, make the pocket look a little more decorated. And that's the last page in the book and then the back cover. And so um, if you guys are interested in watching how I made the base of this um, book purse, um, I will go ahead and post a um, video on that. I think I'll do it separately because this will be a long video and I will also post pictures at the end of this video of all of the pages um, you know of the book and hopefully you get a chance to see all of them um, in full length um, so if you have any questions leave a comment below I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I hope Esme you like this book it was made you know specifically with you in mind because you love purses so much, and I know you love Christmas. And so thanks for watching, everyone, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!